Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Zach Lee. Some of the rookies so far have been looking really, really impressive during the summer league. De'Aaron Fox just played his first game yesterday. He had like, what, 18 points, five assists? Looked really good. Josh Jackson, he looks solid. I think he had like 18 points and eight rebounds. Jason Tatum and Markel Fultz both looked phenomenal. As good as advertised, during their summer league games. My boy Luke Kennard was straight up balling. Dwayne Bacon looks like he could be the steal of the draft at number 40. Just a lot of great play from the rookie so far in the summer league. And it's given us as fans even more to be excited about headed into next year, when we see what they can really do in their rookie year on the big stage. However, with all the good going on amongst the rookies, there is one that's being talked about for the wrong reasons. Lonzo Ball. See, Lonzo Ball had his uh, had his summer league debut yesterday against the Los Angeles Clippers. And words can't begin to describe the game that Lonzo Ball played. It was something, it, 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 it was something. It was horrible. There is no sugarcoating it. That was a terrible, 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 terrible debut for Lonzo Ball. Even his dad, LaVar, came out and said that it was the worst game that he has ever seen Lonzo play. They lost by three or four points in his worst game ever. So if he's just all right, they win. What is it about him for him not to be discouraged? He ain't gonna be discouraged. Yeah. What should he do? He can't go up. And he's still keeping your team in the game playing the worst game ever. Yeah. That's what I like about this right here. He took the shots, and he didn't go in. He took, that's what I gotta see. In this game, are you gonna take them big shots? He wouldn't even take the losing with him, so he gonna blame the losing on him. He's supposed to make those shots, but he didn't. Oh well. But it's, it's better for him to start at the bottom and have all this success at the top. And now you're going to expect the whole season. Granted, he also said that he's already changed the culture in LA, but hey. Yeah, uh, that's LaVar. In that game, I believe Lonzo was one of 11 from three, five points, five assists, and four rebounds in like 32 or 34 minutes of play. However, that has not shaken his dad's confidence at all. His dad, LaVar, still said that Lonzo is going to win Rookie of the Year. Not that he's going to win it, that the award is already his. I missed the Rookie of the Year predi prediction for you. Year. you. It's already done deal. I got the trophy already. You spoke that into existence uh, too. Hey, rookie of the Year. How could he not be? Excuse me for asking. All right. And that he still guarantees that the Lakers are going to make the playoffs in the loaded West. But I mean, what can you expect? LeVar Ball said this before, and he's not the type of guy to go back on his word. Are they making the playoffs this year? Guaranteed. They gonna make the playoffs. I don't see how they couldn't. Now, I know a lot of you are scoffing at those claims right now, and I can't say whether or not they are true. It's too early to say either of those things. That being said, if I could place a bet on whether or not I think the Lakers will make the playoffs next year, I would I would definitely bet against them and feel like I had a strong chance of winning just because they're in the West. If they're in the East, it will be a different story. Anyways, like I said, it is too early to be making any claims like that. Just like it is too early to be calling Lonzo Ball a freaking bust after one terrible, terrible, terrible game. Just listen to so many of these comments there were people were leaving up videos across the internet yesterday talking about Lonzo Ball. That moment when the future of your team doesn't have enough highlights to make a full vid, so instead there are shots of him missing, hashtag bust. Not being a hater or anything, but I just knew this guy was overrated from the start. This guy sucks. Lonzo is trash. Bust, he's going to be a bust. That boy trash. You'll get the picture. And like I said, Lonzo definitely played terrible last night. There is no way you can say otherwise. If you meet anyone that says otherwise, they have no idea what they're talking about. But I just don't know how after one terrible summer league game, even if it was that bad, almost record setting bad, I don't know how you can possibly go out and say that he's going to be a bust. I thought it would take a little more than that, a little more than one freaking summer league game to be considered a bust. Seriously now, one game into the summer league and people are saying he doesn't even belong in the NBA. Kill yourself. And on top of that, people act like he was the first player ever to have a bad summer league game. No one who has ever done anything in this league before Lonzo has ever had a bad summer league game. How many of you guys remember this player called Derrick Rose? How many of you guys remember what Derrick Rose did in the summer league? Granted, his summer league was cut short because he got injured, but in the two games that he did play before he got injured, 
Derrick Rose was straight up awful. He averaged what like 9 points per game, a 20% shooting from the field through his first two games of the summer league. But he went on to be a bust because he played terrible in the summer league, right? Because I had no idea that if you are a bust in the NBA, you still go on to an MVP a couple years later. Carmelo Anthony, when he came into the league, he was supposed to be one of the most dynamic scorers the NBA has ever seen straight out of college. His first summer league game, I think he shoots four of 11 and four of 12 from the field, 10 points, and all of a sudden he should have been overrated or a bust, right? And this is in no way, shape or form defending Lonzo Ball. There is no excuse you could possibly make for the way that he played yesterday. It was terrible. But there's also no possible way you should be calling someone a bust or overrated after one bad summer league game. That's just like saying someone is the next big thing if they play well in the summer league. Anthony Bennett had 15 points and seven rebounds his summer league debut. He had a game where he had 13 points, 14 rebounds, shot five of eight from the field. I think during the summer league, he averaged like 14 points and eight rebounds per game. I'm sure a lot of people were thinking he was about to be a great player in the league. The Cavs got a great player in Anthony Bennett. What a great pick. Clap it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers for selecting Anthony Bennett with the number one overall pick. That boy looked like he can hoop. Where is he now? How long did it take him to even score double digits in a regular NBA game? It took him like 30 freaking games but he looked pretty good in the summer league. Even if you look at last year's summer league, look at some of the people that were balling out during the summer league. Take a listen to some of these names. Jordan McRae from the Cavs, he was averaging like 24 points per game. Chris Dunn was putting up 24 points per game. Emmanuel Moutier, 23 points per game. All these players that did little to nothing in the NBA last year were killing it during the summer league. Did that mean they had a great regular season? No. Summer league performance means little to nothing in terms of career success. But trust me, I get it. I understand why some people are bashing on Lonzo like this. His dad hyped him up to the freaking moon. He was all the way up there, supposed to be this basketball gift sent to us from the gods, supposed to be amazing. People were expecting him to score 15 to 20 points eight or nine assists, five or six rebounds in his summer league debut at least. And then when he comes out and plays like he did, you guys got disappointed. I got disappointed. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't expecting to see something great from Lonzo last night. But I'm not gonna call him overrated or a bust because of one freaking terrible summer league performance. On that note though, some people just genuinely want to see Lonzo fail because of his dad. His dad hyped him up so much, his dad showed him so much love that now they want Lonzo to fail because of what his dad said. Because his dad did what a good dad should do, which is always believe in their sons and tell them they're the best, they can do whatever they want, stuff like that. People wanna see him fail because of that. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. You want him to suffer because his dad talks a lot. That nigga's tripping. And this video isn't me saying that Lonzo Ball is about to be the next great thing because I have no idea what he will be. He could very well turn out to be a bust, but one summer league game is not what that means. Don't jump to any conclusions from what you see players do in their first summer league or even throughout the entire summer league. Even if Lonzo Ball plays like this for the rest of the summer league, it means almost nothing at all. Bottom line is it's just too early to be calling someone a bust or the next great thing in the freaking summer league. But that's going to lead us to the question of the day. What rookies have you guys been most impressed with in the summer league so far? Who do you guys see winning rookie of the year? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, but now let's take a look at what you guys said in yesterday's video. And yesterday, after my Detroit Pistons traded for Avery Bradley, I asked you guys what you think they should do next and uh, where you kind of see the team going from here. And here's what you said. They will see how good the season plays out, and if it goes bad, they should look to move Drummond and Jackson and possibly trade Bradley to a contender at the deadline. If Drummond plays well, they should hold on to him. If Reggie Jackson has a bounce back year like SVG says he will, Detroit could make it as far as the second round. Before this trade, I thought the Pistons were trying to rebuild, but now I think they will be willing to make the playoffs since the East got a lot weaker and it will be easier to make it. I was thinking about that trade all day long yesterday, and what I came to the conclusion is this. Stan Van Gundy has talked a lot about Reggie Jackson this summer and how he expects him to bounce back, and the fact that the Pistons sucked last year was due to Reggie Jackson not being healthy. So I really think he's just gonna let this season play out now and if they do perform well he'll continue building. If not, you could expect this team probably to get blown up. Like I said though, don't forget to leave your answers for today's question of the day down in the comment section below. But other than that, 
thank you once again for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more daily NBA videos. And until tomorrow, keep getting the buckets, Team SDC, and out of here. Peace!